Welcome back, True Seeker, July 21st, 2018. Just wanted to take a moment to cover what happened yesterday, July 20th, in Major League Baseball. You might have heard the story. Carpenter of the Cardinals went five for five, hitting three home runs. And exactly 14 years earlier to the day, July 20th, 2004, when Albert Pujols was on the St. Louis Cardinals, he went five for five with three home runs on that same day and also against the same team, the Chicago Cubs. And I want you to see just how scripted this was. More undeniable evidence of the world of sports being perfectly scripted. We're also going to look at Albert Pujols' 3,000th hit, which happened earlier this season when I was taking a break from making videos. So these events happened 14 years apart. And what's interesting is the name Albert Pujols in Gematria sums to 43, the 14th prime number. In the same cipher, Mariners equals 43, and he got his career 3,000th hit against the Mariners. We'll get to that. But 43, the 14th prime, 14 years later, Carpenter does exactly what Albert Pujols did against the same team. Now, look at this. Albert Pujols' birthday is January 16th, right? From his birthday to yesterday was 185 days. And the score of the Cardinals and Cubs game yesterday where Carpenter tied Pujols' achievement, the final score was 18 to 5, like 185. And notice, in the language of Gematria, mathematics equals 185. Remember, the game of baseball. It's all about mathematics. That's why there's 108 double stitches on a baseball. And if you're going, what? Just wait a second. I'll let you know what it's all about in case you're new here. Notice July 20th, 2018, the date this happened, 7 plus 20 plus 18. That was a date with 45 numerology. Major League equals 45. So does geometry. It's all mathematics. You know, this special achievement tying exactly what Pujols did. Now, to expand on the geometry point, let's go back to Albert Pujols' 3,000th career hit. That happened May 4th, 2018. May 4th, 5 slash 4 or 4 slash 5. In case you're new here, this is Gematria, the ancient practice of coding numbers into words. There's four base ciphers you want to know. And this website, Gematronator, when you type in a word, it gives you the four base ciphers. English ordinal is the alphabetic order. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, up to Z, the 26th letter is 26. Reduction in the dark blue is the alphabetic order plus the rules of numerology. So what's different in this cipher is when you get to S, which is the 19th letter, in this green cipher, S is 19. But when you get to the blue cipher, S is 1 because the numerology of 19 is 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. This uh, reverse ordinal, it's just the alphabetic order in reverse. And reverse full reduction is the alphabetic order in reverse plus the rules of numerology. And think about all of these numbers in regards to baseball. 54 outs in a complete game. 18 half innings. 18 men on the field. 162 game season in Major League Baseball. And if you write out Major League Baseball, notice with the alphabetic order, it's also 162. If you just write out Major League, 45. 45. Notice the 108 as well. There's 108 double stitches on a baseball. Remember the Cubs breaking the 108 year drought? This Code of letters and numbers is known as gematria, which means geometry in language. And look at geometry with the alphabetic order 108, also 108 with the reverse alphabetic order. There's not a lot of words that are the same forwards and backwards. You know, baseball, geometry, they're rare in that way, that they have double meaning in the four base ciphers. It's uncommon. 
And this number 108 is actually incredibly relevant to the geometry of the mathematics of this world we live in. Again, from the Earth to the Sun, that distance is said to be the diameter of 108 suns. And the diameter of the Sun is supposed to be the diameter of 108 Earths. And from the Moon to the Earth is said to be the diameter of 108 moons. It's why we can get perfect eclipses. It's why the Sun and Moon can completely block each other out. The perfect mathematics. And again, with regards to geometry, 108. Think about it. One is a line, zero is a circle, and eight's two circles. If you've taken geometry, you know all about lines and circles and symmetry. Gematria, geometry and language. Now check this out. From Albert Pujols' birthday to the day he got his 3,000th career hit on May 4th, the day that can be written 4 slash 5 or 5 slash 4, 108 days later. How perfect. See how perfectly it's all scripted? You learn this code of letters and numbers, you can see through every sports ritual that is and why they happen the days they do. And, you know, if you watch ESPN and you let those guys go, wow, what a coincidence that Carpenter does the same thing as Pujols 14 years a day. They're treating you like you're a moron. If you don't want to be treated like you're a moron, you want to apply this knowledge, this study, and learn to see through what they're doing. What's really cool is when this happened, I was driving for Uber and Lyft in Seattle, and I was educating people about how baseball is scripted by the numbers and the code of letters and numbers and the gematria of baseball and Major League and even MLB. Look at MLB. 54, just like baseball, also 18, you know, 27. How many outs a team gets in a game? Nine innings. And notice all of these numbers have numerology in nine. One plus eight is nine. Five plus four is nine. Two plus seven is nine. Remember how major leagues 45? If you add the numbers one through nine together, it equals 45. 45 is the ninth triangular number. This entire code is biblical. Holy Bible 45. Look at how many letters are in Holy Bible. Nine letters. You see? 45, 45. This knowledge is hermetic. It's what's older than the Holy Bible. Hermeticism, you learn about how every number carries a vibration, and the vibration of that number has an impact. That's why the fourth book of the Bible is titled Numbers. So anyway, it's all ritual, you know? The um, date pools... Got the 3,000th hit, date with 27 numerology, like MLB. Also like baseball, if you use the S exception, S is the 19th letter. It's the only letter that has to be reduced twice. 19 is 1 plus 9 is 10, and then one more step, 1 plus 0 for 10 becomes 1. So S can be 10 or 1. When you make S 10, baseball is 27. It was also a date with 47 numerology. Seattle's on the 47th parallel. The stadium in Seattle holds 47,000 fans and a few hundred more. The Space Needle in Seattle has a rotating restaurant that does a full rotation every 47 minutes. The word time equals 47. The tropics of this earth that measure the solstices, which measure events in time, are 47 degrees apart. Joining the 3,000 hit club, a perfect ritual in time. You see? Also on this day, May 4th, another story that day was Matt Harvey was let go by the Mets and it was 39 days after his birthday. And if you know my work, everything in New York is 39. The entire history of New York is 39, 39, 39. You know, Vice Sports made an art, wrote an article last year making fun of me, showing how the Yankees manager was let go by the number 39. And then they hired their next manager after that article was written all by the number 39. It's always 39 in New York rituals. New York's 39, Empire's 39, NYC's 39, NY's 39, the United Nations there's 39 floors tall. Every New York Super Bowl one, one by the Jets, four by the Giants, all come back to the number 39, all of them, and a whole lot more. First, Clint, first governor of New York, George Clinton, born in 1739. 
New York's date of establishment, date with 39 numerology. The name George equals 39. The name Clinton, 39. These rituals are deeper than sports, you know, and they've been going on for centuries. It's Freemasonry that's large and in charge. It's Freemasonry that operates by this code. Yesterday, July 20th, if you were watching ESPN, they told you Cespedes missed 57 games, then came back and helped the Mets win the first game of the Subway Series 7-5. to five. Same numbers, 57, 5, 7. Look at the gematria of Mets and New York Mets. 57. You know, people laughed at me in spring training of the year of the 111th World Series when I said why the Mets would be in that World Series. And sure enough, they were there. New York in the 111th. Remember what happened. Matt Harvey on the mound going for the complete game. His 111th pitch on November 1st, 11-1, was hit by Hosmer, who had the .111 batting average for the World Series that drove in the first run against Harvey, got him pulled, and then a series of more runs were given up. The 111th World Series concluded on 11-1. And if you recall before game three, I predicted the score of that game would be three to nine in favor of the Mets, which is exactly what happened. Again, New York, big number there, 39, Empire 39. They're running a story about the last Mets World Series and the man who parachuted on the field all day. And I said, that's a sign for what's going to happen in tonight's game. Remember that, 3993. And sure enough, that was the score. You know, the only game the Mets won in the 111th World Series. But it's just undeniable. You know, 18-5 game, tribute to pull holes 185 days after his birthday. And um, another point I want to make, if you looked at the highlights last night, Matt Carpenter's third home run, as well as Cespedes' home run. Cespedes had a very similar home run in his game. He even threw his bat unhappy with the hit. Both of these guys hit pop flies that carried all the way out of the stadium. And in Carpenter's case, they said it was the wind that caught it. But, you know, the wind can carry a baseball, but it was not a good hit. It was a pop-up, and it carried all the way out of the stadium. And what's the other thing we've been saying for years on this channel? In sports, they're using technology to ensure outcomes. And, you know, drone technology, you know, miniaturization it's not hard to put something in the ball this day and age that helps it hit a target and i would wager you know <laughs> if anybody out there got that carpenter home run ball can you cut that thing open for me you know uh, some of these other balls too in history i suspect you'd find something in there that might surprise you so Something's going on. You know, neither of those balls should have made it out of the stadium, but they both did. And we see why Carpenter had to go five for five with three home runs, you know, the planned ritual that was. So we'll leave it there, Truth Seeker. As another reminder, today is my birthday. I was hoping people were going to support the book big today. So far, three copies are sold. Thank you to the three people who've picked up letters and numbers. If you have not picked up this book yet, 773 pages, every page, very important. And to get your money's worth on this book, you just need to read the first few pages. You know, the first few pages of knowledge are worth more than $5. I priced this book at $5 so everyone can afford it. I want this book to reach, you know, every English speaking person out there. So you want to pick up a really important book, you know. Make me happy on my birthday. Letters and numbers, I'll link where you can get it down below. One of the chapters is on the rigged history of sports. You know, for all you New York sports fans, in the chapter I cover the history of New York Super Bowls and 39 plus a million other things. And um, this book's about a whole lot more than sports. You know, the rigged sports is just one of several chapters in the book. So, All right, until next time.